You know, the best thing for us that love standalone, right, is song mode. And the reason for that is we can make our sequences, right? Me, I usually make at least three, one for the chorus, one for the hook, you know what I'm saying? One for the one for the verse, right? Or chorus and hook, same thing. Um, intro, outro, right? So you got the three for basic foundations, you know what I'm saying? So like when this one out right here, I already got it in song mode, right? So let me, let me just go back a little bit for the beginners. Now, if you're a beginner, you know, this is for you, man. You know what I'm saying? This is man curse state. I don't do a lot of explaining, but today I'm going to explain a little something about song mode. You know what I'm saying? So basically you just go ahead and hold down shift, hit song, boom, here we go, right? So now I have my three sequences arranged the way I want them. You know what I'm saying? So it's very simple. All right, so let me just clear this out. I'm just gonna hit clear, all right? So now I got my three sequences, right? One, two, three, you know what I'm saying? Four bars each, you know what I'm saying? And the first thing you're gonna do when you go into song mode is you're gonna hit record, okay? You see the flashing lights, right? And then you go ahead and simply arrange it in the order that you want and how many times you want the sequence to repeat, all right? So usually I'll put my intro, outro on the third sequence, sequence, which is right here, boom, right? You see that, right? It got loops one time, four bars, all right? That's all you need, right? So then I'll go and say, okay, I made the hook of ver I mean, the hook or the chorus or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, that's the first one, right? So I get that, bam, get that in there, right? Then I have this one for four bars, which is where the lyricist will spit everything, right? One, two, three, four. You see what I'm saying? Four times four is what? 16, folks. You know what I'm saying? If you went to United States, school in the United States of America, I know math can be hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, usually 16 bars is very good for lyricists, right? Because usually the most basic songs back in the 90s, the boom baps and all of that, that were built around lyricism and not today's melodies, right? And the one the one minute, 45 second, multi-million dollar hit, we had songs that was at least three to four minutes long, right? And so you had at least three verses on there, right? And each verse was 16 bars. That's where the term comes from. Yo, son, spit 16 right now. You see what I'm saying? That's where that comes from, all right? So yeah, if you want them to spit the 16 bars on there, you know what I'm saying? You put that in the 16, right? Now, let's go back to the, where the hook and the verse is. Right? Sometimes these days, you know, you can go ahead and, and maybe get out eight bars. One, two, that's right, eight bars right there, right? Now you can also make the sequence eight bars or 16 right off the grip. You know what I'm saying? That's when you start getting a little creative and all of that, you know what I'm saying? But this is just the basic math of building the song in song mode, right? And then you go back in here, you know, come back with the hook a little bit, maybe hit two times for the hook, right? You wanna repeat, then one, two, three, four, and then boom, the outro. And that's it. Now, sometimes the intro outro can be in the middle song to break it up, right? And you can always go back and make additional sequences, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, to take stuff in and out. So that's the basic of the song. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop, right? I'm gonna go play a little something. It's the intro. Four bars. basics of it you know what i'm saying then we come over here to export right boom we still in standalone mode no computer no pc nowhere right all right now me i leave mines in waveform i keep the bit depth 24 sample rate at 44.1 you know what i'm saying and then i keep an audio tail on it right right here is, is default at one second you know what i'm saying i usually keep about three and then i'm going to export it to a file you see what i'm saying Export Mr. Skip into the file, hit save. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. So then what I'll do with that, right? Now, there's other ways of doing this, but what I'll, what I'll do with that information, right? I will take that hardcore 
just that this whole song, right? Two or three minutes, however it comes out to be, three, four, I forgot what the actual time is. Once that comes out, then I can take that, put it on the SD card, and then drop it into my Mac or whatever I got, right? Put it in there, and then I can just load it up into whatever, Logic Pro or whatever, and make um, changes to it, or maybe get someone to, you know, do a little equalization on it, you know what I'm saying? As long as the levels is basic, you know what I'm saying? In this way, you can also maybe run it through the free software Audacity, right? I've done that plenty of times where I wanted to get the beat to the lyricist's ears. I'll take it, take the SD card, put it on my Mac. I may be at my nine to five or wherever it is I'm riding on the plane or whatever. I will take that, run it through normalization effect on, on, on Audacity, right? And then just email the beat to them, you know what I'm saying? In this nice and raw form. If they come back and say, yo, change this, change that, that's cool because I have the original files right here. And if you really, really, really get fancy, you know what I'm saying? Then you go back to, uh, dang, what am I doing? You go back to, you go back here, right? To the main sequence pages and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And then from here, this is where you get fancy. You know what I'm saying? You come in, uh, you come into the, uh, you come into the, um, <laughs> to the tracks individually and then you go into explode mode but that's a whole nother video you know what i'm saying all right so with that being said make sure you like share all this and subscribe to your mans in them kirk state you know what i'm saying but yo you know what I'm i made this beat for you but unfortunately <laughs> we wouldn't get no audio and i wanted to keep it simple for you at least give you something today you know what i'm saying make sure you subscribe and also go to kirkstate.com to get to download them drum loops that I made for everybody that I want you to chop them up really, really good, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they in four and eight bar versions. I got the BPMs on there, all that. Just go to kirkstate.com. I got the starter pack for $2. Who ain't got $2, man? Come on, man. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got two bucks, you need to go ahead and punch a clock somewhere. You know what I'm saying? All right, but that's another story. But also, man, I want you to get into chopping up the loops and all of that. And then we're going to put you on the Kirk State friends of Kirk State playlist on SoundCloud. Let me let me show you something. Yo, it's your man Kirk State. Shout out to my man Ace Boogie Beats, Ace Boogie Music, you know what I'm saying? He sent this track and check it out. So, yo, send in your tracks to get on the Kirk States and Friends playlist on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? If you made something that's funky or something you made with my with my drum uh, loop packs and all of that, yo, send that joint in. Kirk.state.bookings at Gmail. And we're going to take a listen. And if it's, if it's fire like that, it's getting on the playlist, man. You never know who's going to hear your stuff, man. Let's go.